Hey guys, welcome to the Beta Voice <laughs> Podcast. This is Zendaya. No, yes. no, we're starting off wrong. No, dog. Alright, so introduce yourself. <laughs> Let's just start with that. Hi, I'm Zinnia. Z. Ew. They call me Z. And where you from, bro? Nice. Puerto Rico. Like what part? Carolina. Is that like a small town? Yeah. Bro, Puerto so Rico's like- a small town. No, it's a sm- it's it's an island. No, uh-huh. <laughs> it's like five but. miles long. No, it's not. I mean, the longest place that you can go is like two hours away. Two hours? Yeah. Yeah. The close. I mean, with tra- you, if there's like heavy traffic, maybe three, but not even. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, so it's 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 a smaller island, but it's not like a town. No. <laughs> it's not a town. Uh, it's not uh, a town. No. It's not- you have a whole city there. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. But no Target. I mean, but they have a lot like they're still part of America, dude. Uh-huh. Like they still have like commercial shit. I feel like it's like how Central Florida is part of Florida. <laughs> 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 uh, like, no, that's how I dude. feel like it's part of like do you guys have the same currency? What do you mean? What I don't know. Yeah, how they use dollars, it. dude. They're oh, use dollars. Yes. They're a yeah, colony. Dollar bills. Uh huh. Okay, I didn't know if you had some like fancy Why coins, do dog. Why do you think Dude, much they're show? literally a U.S. territory? Uh-huh. I, but so is Alaska. Yeah, but they're a state. Huh? I don't know what's. What happening. about Hawaii? It's, it's a, it's a, it. Hawaii is just like Puerto Rico was, or <clears throat> Hawaii is just like Puerto, or Puerto Rico is just like Hawaii used to be. What does that mean? Like it used to be kind of like a territory, very familiar with the U.S., whatever else, and then they decided to like become part of the like the union. So does Hawaii use American money? Is that like even a question? Yeah, <laughs> dude. Number one, the world uses American money for no, the, like we, we like the world uses the U.S. as the reserve currency, and then like especially every territory in the country, whether it be a state or a, just a territory, still uses the U.S. dollar. So if I go to Hawaii and I got like a twenty on me, I'm good. No, because you're not gonna get anywhere with twenty bucks in Hawaii. But like, yeah, you <laughs> you would be able to spend it. Okay. Do they have their own currency? Hawaii. They used to. Okay, but they don't anymore. No. All right, I'm learning. This is a podcast we're learning. We're fucking socializing. We're teaching <laughs> and everything. Yeah. I'm yeah. like blown Pop- away right now. What's oh my wrong gosh, with you? can I put it closer to my No, face? this is the furthest it goes. Okay. Just put your face closer to it. That sounds if I, easier, if right? If I brought it over here, it, it'll probably no, like, look weird. Yo, did okay. you fix the thing? Oh, it's reading the curve. Nice. Yeah, we'll see how long that holds. I got to actually patch the drywall. Oh, yeah. so yeah. Right? You yeah. fuck with it? Yeah. You see the lights and everything? Like, when people are like, can we see it? And then like the lights are off. They're all like, oh, it's not like the same magic. And then I turn it on and they're just like, they're like, oh my God, this shit's gorgeous. No, it's so pretty. did they teach you English from like birth? Because I know like some people from Puerto Rico and like your English is bomb as fuck. Uh, well, I know English because I moved to Connecticut when I was four. Um, Why? Because um, I have to ask my mom. Connecticut? Yeah. What were your ties to that? Mine? Yeah. None. So you knew no one in Connecticut? Your mm. mom just like, yo, let's go. I mean, I think it was a job opportunity because she worked in Mohegan's Sun. What does that casino. mean? Casino. Oh, and they opened one? Huh? They opened one in Connecticut? You don't know the Mohegan... Is that like... I'm not familiar with it either. The Mohegan honestly. Sun? Mm-mm. In Connecticut? Nah. Is I that feel like, like that's dance? the biggest... That's where I think... That's where the casino is. They do all the concerts there. Like, all the concerts are in Mohegan Sun. You I'm sound very prideful about that. Huh? You sound like you <laughs> like it. I mean, I can't, it's so common. But when I talk to people, when I ask people, they don't know. So it's uncommon. It's probably, like, up it's north. It's more me. common than down here. What do you mean, uh-huh. dog? Mohegan Sun? That sounds like fucking milk. In fucking Connecticut? Yeah. Uh-huh. I've never heard of anyone say I'm born from Connecticut. Or I was born in Connecticut. Everyone I mean, just I've, goes to I've met a couple people from Connecticut. I mean, Connecticut isn't like some BFE state, though. Like, if you're from fucking Arkansas, yeah, okay. Like, there's 10 people there. But, like, Connecticut's an actual, like, I state. honestly think we need to minimize the amount of states there are. Because there's 50, but, like, only 10 really matter. So... No, we'll let Puerto Rico. So we, what are you uh, talking about? Uh, only 11 Yeah, matter. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, there's a couple states, like, that are as mentioned, are North top Dakota. 10? Top 10? <laughs> again, no, no. All these Bro, BFE New York, states. Florida... You gotta put California in there. We're gonna have Texas in there because they're on the come up. Colorado, people are doing shit. North and South Carolina, because you gotta drive by them to get to New York. We're at seven right now, crushing it. Let's throw some like bullshit, like fucking Boston. 
Massachusetts. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> That's nice. What else? Oh, Puerto Rico. We'll throw Puerto Rico and Hawaii. Boom. Well, I mean, Puerto Rico probably should be a state. Yeah. But, you know. Um, Realistically, if we only had like, those 10 I states. I feel like you forgot about a couple. Like, what? Well, did you say what Texas? You said Texas. You said Texas. I said Texas. Arizona. Huh? Arizona. Ooh, that's like Texas Michigan. cousin. Why do we need Michigan? Dude, it was like the largest car manufacturing like place in the world. Was. They're starting to bring it back. When they bring it back, they might be able to, like, they could file for being a state again. Oh, God. All right, maybe we could do 15, but 50 is overrated. No, I mean, uh, no, like. Na- name 10 states right now we can get rid of and, like, not have to, like. It'll be okay. I feel like we shouldn't get rid of any. Probably shouldn't get rid of them. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like, if I had a tier list, I definitely have, like, <laughs> I definitely have some bottom mentions. But, like. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah, that's fair. Rhymes with glaucoma. <laughs> and fair. no one wants that. North Dakota. See, south Dakota. Didn't even know there was a North and South. Let's fuse it what? together. Fuse it together. Make Puerto Rico state. But then what we should do for Puerto Rico and Hawaii to, like, become a state and see who actually gets, like, you know. And so you're, you're, you're have their strongest warriors on. fight. You're taking Hawaii, which is already a state outside of the union, to have them fight to see who can make it back in. It's kind of like relegation in the Premier League. Like the bottom three teams go down, so the bottom three states are done, and then the top three teams go up. So Puerto Rico, you got a chance. Where are you from? Puerto Rico. No, bro, the the city. <laughs> oh, Carolina. Carolina. So you got oh him, dog. Would you want that? You're strong. If you could pick the strongest warrior from your city, who would it be? The strongest warrior. Like if someone from <laughs> yeah. where you were born had a fight to defend Puerto Rico, who would you pick? Yeah, like was your neighbor like a tank and he can <laughs> and he can defend like Puerto artist? Rico? Like a an, famous person? An artist? No, 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 no dog. A fighter. He's he's looking for like a warrior. Like, I'm looking for. Oh. You to like, battle someone he's, for the death because off your... rip, I feel like people from Hawaii have hands. Number one, I partially don't want to be part of this conversation at this point, but like he's looking for your like Spartacus, right? Like he's looking for your for your champion. You don't have that. Uh, Miguel Cotto. Nah, just yo, have we... fun being in territory, dog. That's yeah. okay. Nah, no, no, no. So like on a real note though, do you think Puerto Rico should be a state, or would you rather them have their independence? Um. I think it should be a state. What would change? If so, like, right now, Puerto Rico is essentially, it's part of America, but it doesn't have the representation. Mm-hmm. So, like, for instance, they don't have senators. They don't have state reps. They don't have, um, they just don't have. They, they have uh, mayors, But right? we still get, like, everything from the United States. Yeah. Like, they're completely relying on us. So, for instance, uh-huh. they're completely relying on us, but yet, number one, we don't give them enough to begin with compared to other states. Like, for instance, if you're in Kentucky, mm-hmm. so the way states go, you have, like, states that produce for the country so like they're net positive in terms of how much they give to the federal government Mm -hmm. then there's states that are net takers so like they take so for instance new york gives the u.s government like a hundred billion dollars a year in just taxes right they take that money and it essentially goes to states like kentucky who's essentially just a net taker right so Mm -hmm. like with puerto rico they don't have representation to begin with so like let's say they would require you know, let's say ten billion dollars to actually like fix everything up, whatever infrastructure needs they have, whatever like basic things that every other state would get in the U.S. To make Although them all. even that's debatable at this point. But like, um, yes. um, no, no. Um, but regardless, like they don't even have the representation for people to fight for them in Congress to get that to get the amenities that every other state has. So that's that's the thing. Like they they don't have representation yet. They're still governed by the U.S. Mm-hmm. When I went, the roads are so bad. Like they got like I mean, potholes like, and shit in them. I was literally like, I had, I had a couple anxiety attacks. Nah, you know what my sister told me a long time ago, and I started doing to get the potholes fixed. Whenever you see a pothole in somewhere, wait till it's nighttime. Get spray paint, and I swear to God, they fix it as fast as they can. Oh my! No, no, listen, and spray paint a dick on it. And when you do that, they're like, that can't be there, so they cover the pothole. It's like how you speed up the city. I mean, that. I'm in not an saying odd I way, ever that's did a that. fair way to do uh, it. Yeah, dog. That's a fair way f- to do it. You no. fuck my car up, I fuck your road up. But people put trees, 
people pla- um people like started planting trees in the potholes they put like the orange bins they take it from wherever they are and they put them in the pothole they put like people put stuff in them that sounds nice yeah. would that like, like bad, wouldn't bad that like problems. destroy the rest of the road though once a tree grows bro they worried about the now i'm dog. just curious mm-hmm. i'm just curious they worried about the now uh, yeah bro. for sure yeah how do people dig a tree in there though they just mm-hmm. put soil <laughs> yeah soil and the seeds and it, so now you have a tree in the way on the road. Mm-hmm. You are crazy. I mean, Puerto Rico has character. <clears throat> it's a quick fix. Like I mean, not too too quick, but it's a way to get it done. Bro, they're putting mm-hmm. soil. I mean, I would recommend fixing the pothole uh-huh. <laughs> because, like, if you plant a tree right and then it starts growing and it gets big, the roots are gonna like probably create another issue. But no, in Puerto <laughs> Rico, like, they just leave it there, and like a whole bunch of like trees and the road breaking is still there is it like 50 50 with english and spanish for yeah. the speaking mm-hmm. for this generation yes really mm-hmm. so like are the roads in spanish or english spanish okay so it's not 50 50 so i mean but i mean you said 50 50 the people what does that no? mean no 50 50 for right the right language now? that they speak like, well, I mean, Puerto Ricans are going to speak, like, Spanish. Yeah. But, I mean, like, uh-huh. you're saying 50-50 in terms of, like, the people that are there now. Uh-huh. At the whole like, nine my years. generation, like, they know Spanish and English. We're, we're, we are very bilingual. Why do you yeah. think that changed? The schools. What happened with the schools? A lot of public school, and just like the time, a lot of private schools, they speak English. Public schools, we have English. Mm-hmm. But I think it's just the time, the age. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's fair. So, nah, I feel like people are just get like I feel like everyone as we're getting older are just getting more like adapted mm-hmm. to like certain things. Like we're more like what's that shit called? We're not good at just one thing. We're good at a lot of shit. Yeah, like we're more useful. Yeah, mm-hmm. that is true. Exactly. Mm-hmm. My grandparents <laughs> and yeah, cause like the older like they don't know how to adapt. My, I mean a little bit, but not that much. My grandparents don't speak English. Yeah, they're like a car. That needs an oil change. And they're like, nah, we're just going to keep going until, like, the engine explodes. Not your grandparents, uh-huh. but, like, old people. Okay. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> when it comes to, uh, like, I, I heard in the cities, you're you, if you're, like, an English speaker only, like, you're probably going to be fine. The second you go out into, like, more of the, like, the rural areas, the places where you're going to see, like, just, like, people that have been there their entire lives, mm-hmm. that's when you'll find where it's, like, harder to get a, to get by. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, when you go more in local, there's like older people mm-hmm. and everyone speaks. But even actually, yes, but things are changing because like in local places, you have teenagers, you have young adults working and they know English. Yeah, because San Juan, they mostly speak English, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, in Condado, where all the rich people are. How How long ago did that start? That, like, motherfuckers are going to Puerto Rico just for, like, a tax break. After COVID. What Do you know what that shit is, though? So, and I'm probably missing a couple pieces, but <clears throat> basically it became very popularized back. It, it's happened. It happened. It happened before COVID, but it, like, there were, like, a lot of videos that there was a big thing that happened where it was almost like when Bad Bunny started making his music about, like, people going over there, whatever else. Mm-hmm. It became much more known. But so what's been happening is you have like let's say a bunch of uh, <clears throat> a bunch of like CEO type people or like it was really big with crypto spaces whatever else where they would like they would go over to Puerto Rico live there six months and one day a year because Puerto Rico doesn't have a state tax they don't even pay federal tax right so like but there, if they became a state there's they would, some right? like base minimum tax but it's like so minute right so if you live in California. Where your tax rate's gonna be like fifty percent essentially, um, between state tax and federal tax and all the local taxes, you can take that, save fifty percent, and then you know, essentially, live in Puerto Rico for six months and one day. And when I say live, I mean it's like you know you have to prove to some extent you live there for six months. But if you're like traveling for business or some shit, yeah. you know, it's not gonna be much of a difference besides your like technical home being there. Now, how much is that affecting the locals? A lot, because a lot of the local places, they want to, like, 
do buildings. Oh, I heard that. I heard last week that they want to place the Hard Rock, a whole Hard Rock casino and hotel in San Juan. That's and, like the whole, like the size of the whole city. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are against it. But do you think that'll like stop anything? I just feel like Puerto Rico is gonna. It's Puerto Rico is changing. It's not like very. It's not local anymore. It's just tourist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like the little. It's becoming like have, a tax break. Mm hmm. Ugh, that's gross. Yeah, but that's the real reality. I feel like, and there's at least if it starts with like the economic. And keeps going higher people are gonna keep going that's why people move and go to florida so do you think it's getting like gentrified gentrified um in a you way. know what that means no. <clears throat> hit the facts you got this shit right here this is where you shine is literally where you take an area that's either impoverished or just hasn't been treated right economically speaking so you typically have you might have more crime in these areas whatever else mm -hmm. and so what they do is they they through one mean or another they buy out let's say a couple blocks mm -hmm. and they turn it into let's say city place mm -hmm. right so like west palm beach tamarin avenue all those areas city place all the all like that couple square blocks it used to be a really bad area um it was known for like uh you know crack dens whatever else um or even like harlem yeah so that's like another example yeah. like areas of it so it's really going to start in like small pieces and then they kind of work their way out mm -hmm. But what it does is the people that actually live there mm -hmm. then have to go somewhere else. You know what I mean? Uh, so like they'll yeah, they'll, yeah. they'll either buy them out, do uh, like an eminent domain type of practice where it's like you know the government essentially will seize uh, the properties. And yeah. So like whatever the house it. value of your property is, they're mm -hmm. like, yo, you're taking this, but you gotta get the fuck out. Yeah. And then and then sorry, just to like finish the the other hard part to it, it's really common for a developer to so in America through like the lobbying like donations and all that you can lobby for your for your congress people your mayor this that the other to make the decisions anyways mm -hmm. so they're not looking out for the best interests of the actual people that live in the community to begin mm -hmm. with they're just looking for the check and then afterwards there's no laws against like the revolving door so to speak so like the like a lot of times especially as you go higher up in in the chain of like politics yeah where they'll just work for the company afterwards you know, so like a lot of politicians that are retired, they lost their campaign seat or they lost their uh, their their seat. Um, they'll typically end up like being on the board of one of these companies and making like a million bucks a year or whatever else for like the next five, ten years. And they don't you know, they're, they're, how fucking smart are these people really? Like, it's not like they belong. Like, it's not like some like random like uh, rep belongs on the board of some like Pfizer or some shit, but that's what happens even on the, like the smaller levels. Cause that's, what's happening in West Palm right now, where it's like West Palm developers show up, pay the mayor off all, through all these like different means through like uh, the cornerstone group. Mm -hmm. And then from that, the mayor has a lot more power in West Palm beach compared to some other mayors. And then the board itself, the commissioners, as long as they don't like dissent all the way, you know, anything the mayor kind of things should pass will pass so like developers are building without watching out for the citizens of like our community mm -hmm. that happens everywhere that's gentrification you feel like that shit's happening mm -hmm. in puerto rico no can it happen maybe but not right now because i feel sorry i feel like a lot of the how for example my mom's boyfriend she he has like he bought his house like that's his property and he like rents out and i don't think like we have a governor so i don't think like no, I don't think it's happening. But if they become a state, it'd be easier to do that shit. Um, it's yeah. probably happening now. Mm -hmm. You ever wake up when you're like in your arms completely numb? Mm -hmm. That's just the scariest feeling in the world. It is. It's and then you weird. gotta like tingle your feel like your fingers mm -hmm. and everything. I low key feel like that's what it feels like to be a diabetic, like all the time. We'd have to bring one on for that. I'm yeah. not sure. <laughs> the way you're describing what's happening is like I literally feel like you're describing it as like a crumbled receipt, and it's just like being thrown. Yeah. Like, it still has value, like but, Trump like... Trump threw the toilet paper? When he was, like, he was throwing shirts and shit? Like, like a fucking no, rally? it wasn't shirts. It was toilet paper. Yeah. He was, he Not was, even shirts. It was paper towel and toilet paper, yeah. He was... He, he put was, it in a little fucking gun they have yeah. at, like, those games, and they just oh shoot God. it out? Instead of having, uh, you know, so like, organized, like, uh, disbursement of it, he just kind of, like, went into the crowd and was like, you get a toilet paper, you get one, and he just started chucking it into there. there was no there. toilet paper. And then in... the other part that happened in Puerto Rico was they left, like, hundred, like, what, like, 
thousands and thousands of bottles of water just oh, like yeah. they let them sit in the sun and they went bad fucked. um that was so, from maria yeah I yeah i feel Legendary. like you guys get wrecked with hurricanes um yeah maria was the biggest this last one it was different parts but like for maria san juan was like destroyed yeah destroyed didn't even know what happened was there was there an effort to like rebuild it to some extent, like a major effort, or was it like everyone just picked up the pieces? Yes, I feel like it was more the locals. I remember that had I, to do it, right? Yeah, I we had this really big donation. We did zip logs of like toilet paper, toothpaste, toothbrush, all that. And we just went to the farthest like pueblo is how we call it. I always forget. Like, diff the different part, like, an hour away from where I lived, or two hours away from where, like, west So, like, the fucking south. other side of the mall, mm -hmm. or the, <laughs> the, uh, the island. I just want to say <laughs> no, stop. that... Wait, wait, real quick. I heard when this... We one... start, Nick, when we started, before we started the podcast... That was my accident. Before that was today, my accident. he literally told me, we're not talking about Long Island. On the podcast. Because it ain't a thing. It's uh, not yeah. a thing. Uh -huh. It's not going to it, be a thing. No, we're that. not talking about we're it. We're not talking yeah. about it. Wait, I heard <clears throat> some mayor did this shit where I forget what he this was guy. doing, but it was something with shoes. And then he, um, fucking Gerson told me this. He was like, the mayor was so corrupt and everything. And then like a bunch of people like laid their shoes out or it was one shoe. And then they gave it all of them. And then he was like. I hope you have a size 10 so I can, like, I don't know, like, some weird shit, like, corrupt shit that the mayor did in Puerto Rico. I mean, the, f well, first is a governor. We don't have yeah. a mayor. Okay. Um, and the last one was Ricky Rosselló. That sounds like a fucking singer. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good name. It's a it's great name. It's a good name. name. Keep going. Keep going. It's fun. It's, that's, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, so, yeah, he was very corrupt. Like, I think that's him. Ricky yeah. Rose, yo. Uh -huh. Hold on. We're not doing that. I'm just going to see we're, what We're not doing that. Whoa, keep going. Keep talking. Ricky Rose, yo. Get off the fucking I got to see the story. No, this shit was crazy. He said something like he was like. I haven't texted to you. I haven't texted to you. Keep on going. I'm sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Rose, yo. What's it like dealing, like, what's it like dealing with Dylan? Dog, we're crushing it. What does it mean? No, it? no, no. Ricky Rose, worry. Patience is working. No, really? I'm just <laughs> <laughs> that was like my ultimate question. You know what? I'm done with the podcast. I just wanted to know that. <laughs> what do you mean? That. We're fucking 24 minutes in. We got to crush it. Yo, you're That's next, it. dog. We're making great timing. So, yeah. Um, he was very corrupt. Um, I remember I was. So, in 15. San Juan, he has like his house or like his office, I think. I'm so sorry if I'm oh, wrong or I forgot. Um, but I was there in front of, like, obviously, it was, like, a little farther away because police were blocking it, but I was there when he quit, when he was, like, when he sent out his broadcast. I was in front with everyone Like he, he was, no, 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 yeah. dog, really? if this is the guy I'm thinking of, they were gonna, like, murder him, right? They were fucking yeah, pissed. We Bro, were I pissed. wish I oh knew this gosh, story, Oh my gosh, I was dog. in, I was in, what, CNN or CBS. I was in the news. You were in CBS? No. No, 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 yeah. she was on when, CNN. She no, was on no, Go back to, know, go back to know, CBS, David dog. McNaught, I need some more waters. Who? The reporter. Maybe Who? if I saw his the face, probably. David McNaught. Oh my gosh. You watch the news? I was on the news. Clippets of it. And and I, I can't take I too much of it. I was like. Was it in English or Spanish? Spanish, but it was like I was just so excited. There were so many people, and I was just so excited. This was like three, yeah, three years ago, I think it was. So it's very cringy, but I was so excited, and I was like, "We, he, he, he thinks we're stupid, and we're not gonna leave. Like, we're not stupid." I just kept saying stupid because <laughs> it was just like he did. Honestly, I felt like he. Th this is still gonna go on. Like, we are not gonna stop. We can't let this stop. Like, we can't let them. Thought of us like that 
and it was re- it, it was very disrespectful. So how we were many? Really how many? Hold on, hold on, hold on. How many? Um, people were outside of his house or like protesting in general. Mad, like, everyone. mad and people, bro. Everyone. I think I remember everyone. what it is. He did something where something happened with a road or some shit that he didn't clear, and a bunch of kids died. So they brought up all the shoes of the kids and everything to kind of make a point. And he's like, "These are all the shoes that don't have like soles or like feet to be in them anymore." And then he was like, "I would, you should have brought me a size ten so I can like stare one of my equals in the <clears throat> eyes instead of this shit." Or he said some crazy shit that like literally like everyone this was like, "Wait, maybe a long time ago." You know what know. though? Yeah, but he he had a job after though. That's why he dipped, and he dipped to America, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, that was the story I heard. But you know what? That story of like everyone holding him to account mm-hmm. is is like a beautiful story, right? Like I like the old way of like politics in a more like um, I'm not even going to get into that, but the politicians are supposed to fear their fear their base. But do you think the American like, government's too strong? Because like during COVID, no. that shit happened in Bogota, and Colombia, where like a bunch of truck drivers like closed off Bogota and people were fucking rioting. No, no, no. Like so. You have to go back in like American history to see what it would take. Mm -hmm. But like, if you look at the old union movements that won us like 40 hour work weeks and like getting children out of fucking factories, when you look at those movements and what they had to do and how many people died in those movements and like they really held power to account, um, that is what's necessary. Like, Mm -hmm. it takes like, for instance, like in the beginning, I think I forget exactly when this was, but it's either late 1890s, early 1900s, you had. Uh, an entire union of like it was either steel workers whatever else and they legitimately took over a whole fucking town because all the workers that were getting extorted by those by those companies they were not um they were not bending the government wasn't bending nothing was happening so because of that it you know thousands of people the like the like military to some extent was called you had like a general negotiating with the union people but like fights like that won us the rights we like enjoy today and not mm-hmm. even think about. Um, no, 100%. Like that's that's a beautiful story. Like like that should happen in every fucking yeah. city. Do you we think it can happen leave. now? I mean, possible. I mean, it would take it would take people like it in terms of class. It would take like the working class, regardless of like political ideology or whatever side you want to like say you're on. Mm-hmm. It would take everyone uniting under like a common banner. Of people deserving more yeah. rights. Like that shit, you know that shit that's happening in Venezuela? Yes, you do. Venezuela is getting, it's all like the rioting and stuff. And like people were like, this has been happening for years. And then this happened years ago too. Like I remember, it, this is how I could, so not a lot of people like ever hear anything like bad about like Chile and like South America and everything. It's kind of like they're all like hardworking, like they're a very like unit of a country. And then when Chile started protesting, <clears throat> that's when you were like, oh, fuck, shit's, like, starting to get serious, like, in South America. It was just, like, mm-hmm. corrupt shit, like, with the government and everything. Yeah. So, but it's been happening in Venezuela for years, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, that's what it oh, takes. now you know. No, I mean, I know that a lot of things have been happening in Venezuela. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, that's normal. Yeah, no. I mean, fights like that don't happen over, like, they don't, they don't get won overnight. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, the original, you uh, know. The original, like, labor movements that were, like, more militant, it still took, like, what, 10, 20 years to start really getting the rights of the things they were demanding. And it's because, like, it's only when you actually impact the bottom line of the companies Mm -hmm. and the government actually saying, like, we can't have, like, a TV broadcast of, like, a bunch of peaceful protesters but do you still getting think blasted pro- with hoses and like it sent have the you think they uh, broadcast that right now because it's like you were saying yesterday. Well, I mean, dog, like it's it not about so long to we do don't that Ohio we don't shit. need for it to be broadcasted just because of social media, mm-hmm. right? For instance, like, um, you know the George Floyd protests, right? Like, w- regardless of any of the stuff behind whatever, mm-hmm. those protests, the reason it went to such an extreme wasn't because it was playing on Fox News and CNN. It was because, like, everyone was retweeting these p- giant protests and it just kept building the momentum. The only thing about, like, America is that, like, our attention span is, like, a fucking gnat. Yeah. So it's, like, a week later, it's like, oh, my God, next story, right? So it's, like, that's that's what happens. You know what I mean? It fizzles out really quick in America, whereas, like, in France, you know, like... They fucking even float the idea of like, oh, we're going to like cut some subsidies for your health care. You have like 300,000 people on the streets in an hour. 
You know what I mean? Like it's just way, people are way more class conscious. So do you think we're not cultures. like connected as it's like a society in America? Uh, I mean, I think it's a lot of things. Like, uh, there's there groups. I feel like everyone. But there's groups divided. everywhere in the world. Well, I mean, like it, people here are divided in a little bit different of a way because, like, we're we're in a we're in a country that like is very good at spinning uh, rhetoric, right? Yeah. So it's like. You know, the Americans are divided on so many different lines through like identity politics, this, that, the other, where it's like you can't even get coalitions on like the left to agree. Um, the right's a little better at consolidating um, behind a person. <clears throat> but like regardless, like there's infighting in every facet of, of uh, politics or activism or any of that um, because, you know, there's so many different um there's so many different dividing lines, you know, mm -hmm. like on the left, for instance, just because I know the space a little better. If one person's like, oh, my God, we need to like, you know, like fucking tear down the government and this, that, the other. Right. And like, that's extreme. Right. That's pretty crazy. But then you have like a Bernie type person where he's just like a moderate uh, dem uh, Democratic socialist or social Democrat. <clears throat> and he's just like, I believe in capitalism. I just believe like people should have health care. Right. And like, because he didn't say what this person said, everyone in between is going to get mad at each other and fight about it for no reason. When like, instead of saying, I think we all should have healthcare and everyone's like, let's unite on that front and move on. They're going to de just destroy themselves. Yeah. That second. one time we went to the fucking Trump protest and I was like, yeah, I sucked this dick. And then that lady's like, that's not politically correct. And I was like, yo, don't fight your fucking allies lady. What's wrong with you? Well, so. I mean like that's, that, that is common when in like what, more leftist like activism circles like when yeah. it comes to like the right like i said like they're very good at like tearing each other down but like the second someone wins they all kind of unite behind mm -hmm. and then you have like the democrats which are just like i mean they're just centrist they're like oh we're gonna do this and then like they do the complete opposite while saying they're doing the right thing um it's just there's no perfect you still got student mm -hmm. loans yeah but that that's that's a whole nother thing to unpack you having fun so far? Mm -hmm. Like you, you having fun? You doing good? You want to talk about the other thing you can talk about? It's interesting. <laughs> Say the other thing. Mm -hmm. what other Say, you texted me. What other thing? <coughs> you, oh, you know. let's talk about the industry. You want to talk about let's, the industry? Let's talk Bring about the industry, dude. Let's hear it. What, so, what's your thoughts on serving? So Z's bartending? been working at PetSmart for ten years. Oh, hold on, hold and on. She's talking about the animal industry. Pause. Time, time, time. What are you talking about? That's oh. crazy. And That's how beta crazy. fish are mistreated. Oh my god. Just, right. just, what's yeah, going on that? Just, uh, Do you guys feed them? Huh? The betta fish? No. At PetSmart? No. I don't know. Oh, he said a lot of people died in Puerto Rico because of the hurricane, and so the people of the island got together and brought a pair of shoes of their dead loved ones to represent them as a statement and a testament to all of those lives lost. And when the governor was told about it, all he said was something along the lines of, it's a shame that none of those shoes fit me. Oh. Was that the hurricane, Maria? Hurricane. Which hurricane was it? There's a lot of hurricanes. Isn't that wild, dog? I'd have to throw hands. I would have to, like, learn the ability to fly just there and just, like, start fighting you in the sky. If you were to say that. Clearly. Like, yeah, yeah, no. and I don't know why. Totally rational. I felt like he said that. <laughs> like, I don't feel like he said that on TV. I felt like he said that off of a balcony looking over the city, like in fucking Rome and some shit. And like the Coliseum, exactly. And you're you're in the Coliseum fighting. One hundred percent against I would just, the governor. <laughs> but I'll jump as hard as I can and start fighting. I'd get there. Yeah, yeah no. Eventually. All right, PetSmart. We back That's in the shit. That's why he quit. Because he's stupid. Because he was gonna get like fucking destroyed, right? Yeah. He was scared. He's pussy. But how? But how hard? It was a terrible thing he said. But how hard do you have to be to make a statement like that? Like how little do you have to like look at those people to make a statement like that? Like, that is fucking crazy. I feel like his dad was... His dad is in the politics, too. So he's, like, he grew up in that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it just got to his head. Yeah. Yeah. You think that race was corrupt? How do, like, mm -hmm. elections go? Elections are, like, the same? He killed someone when he was younger. Like, you know... You know, like, he was... He was, like, a politics child. Like, where they all do... Um, all crazy stuff, and they get away with it. It's nepotism, baby. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he killed someone. 
And when this you whole thing... You want to try thing, nicotine gum? What? Oh, you got braces. Keep going. So, ne- yeah, he killed someone. Baby. Like, everything was coming out. He did He did a whole bunch of bad stuff. It was, it was really bad, but... The one that's now is no better. But that's just like a loop. It's a cycle. It's a toxic cycle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fucking bastards, dude. Fucking. That's crazy. It's tough. It's tough out here. So what? What about the? Uh, what did you notice about like the service industry, bro? I feel it's like toxic. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's, it's let, not let, to- no, let, no, no. Let yes, her say is. her it's shit. Let her toxic. say her shit. But it's toxic. But I love it. Okay, that sounds unhealthy. <laughs> nah, dog. I feel <laughs> like it. it's the only toxic relationship. If I don't you wanna stay. if you don't treat it like <laughs> like it's real, I think you'd crush it. If you just like treat it like no, when I go in there, dog, and I go into work, the current job I'm at, the job I worked before, whatever happens to me there, doesn't matter. I can have a table shit in their hand and throw it at me, and I'm like, ooh, that's gross, and I'm like, what do you guys want to drink? What? So like, yeah. As long as you have that mindset, nothing matters, dog. It's so fun. I'm not. No, old but you're a little extreme. I think when I saw Dylan <laughs> start, like giving service, I'm Stop, like, bro, chill, I'm, I'm like Stop, literally. Did you just touch my face? No, that wasn't me. That was Nick. Literally, Dylan's personality. I don't say it. I'm gonna get in trouble. A hundred percent. How Dylan is, that's how he is with his guests. No, all you have to do, if you ever like have a serving job, or if you ever want to apply, don't as a be server, like Dylan. No, no. I'm gonna give everyone the tips. First of all, put a restaurant that closed down if you have no serving advice. Put a restaurant that closed down somewhere and be like, oh, I used to live here and I worked for this restaurant as a server. They can't call it and for the most part, they don't check it. Then with your tables, get them the drinks, you know. Just be like, hey, guy, blah, blah, blah. Get them the drinks. As soon as you get the drinks, all you have to do. You guys good? And then when you greet a table, guys, how we doing? And just do this. Do a little finger guns. 20% tip. Is that all we do? Uh, That's all you have to do. I'm like, guys. And they're like, Perfect. And then they, sometimes they just, like do it back. And that's it. <laughs> I couldn't. I feel like I'm too awkward. No, I try it. I told two people our, our jobs to do that. And they're like, bro, I'm not kidding. Our tip percentage went up because you did that. Like we do that. They How just many go water in. bottles do you sell? All of them. When you walk in, bro, you got to state your dominance. Because people are always like, people are so mean. People are this. People are that. And I'm like, where the fuck's the mean person? And then I go in. I walk. And then I go in front of them. And I'm like, guys, how we doing? And then just there... You're like, I'm better than you. None of these shoes fit. See? Ugh. Dylan. What? No. You don't do that? No. How do you go? Hey, guys. How are like, you? Hi. Today I was like, hey, how are you? This is your first time? I would explain it. I was like, hey, my name is Z. I'm your bartender slash server. So that was first today. Wow. So I had to do double the job. Triple the job. Cause that's how the industry, the restaurant industry, is. You have to bust your ass and do everything. But it's fun, dog. No, yeah, I love it. I wouldn't I say it. I love it, but <laughs> it's, it's fun. I love it's my passion. It's I want to have my own restaurant, so that's why. But it's still very tough. If you had your own restaurant, what would you call it? I don't know yet. I, something with what, Angel. What kind of restaurant would you open? Yeah. Um, I would open like a, a tapas. Like small appetizers. Okay. Cold oh, drinks. What would you call it? Tapas. A tapas restaurant. Tapas? Yeah. What the fuck is that? Small It's like appetizers. a tapas bar. Oh, no. dog, I want pasta so bad right now. Anyways. <laughs> Actually, Italian food are like, I feel like Italian food, like pizza, pasta are like the number one selling. It's like, it's very common. Yeah. It's what people eat. People you've been, eat pizza. You've been eating Italian yeah. a lot lately too, right? Hmm? Huh? No. <laughs> I'm gonna crawl behind this fucking mic, dude. <laughs> I swear to God. So top us. What would you call it, dog? Something with something with angels. Angels, angels yeah. top us. No. What? Heavenly you don't, tapas. tapas is not the name. Tapas is just the food. It's just small portions of food. So it's like a little like it's like bar food. Mm-hmm. We can have I buffalo be like, wings. When you when you're like you want the munchies, you're like high, you're like, How you're like o- drunk. When you would there? you be open? Huh? Like what? Like what hours would you be open? I would do lunch, eh, dinner, more night. More, you have to be more night. Yeah. So open at like five mm-hmm. and then close no, at like four. three a.m. Open no. at four p.m. Close at three a.m. 
3 a.m. 3 a.m. is a lot. That's it's extreme. Papa's dog. Look at the clientele she's trying to hit. Oh, you're high and you have the munchies. Blah blah blah. Who's smoking at fucking six? A lot of people. But those are still like family hours, bro. Let me. Let's open it together. 4 p.m. to 3 a.m. You hit the full shift, and then I just come in and I make sure everything's good. No. Just, I'm like, just give him the last five hours to manage. That's it. I'd crush it. You know. Hold up. That you'll like... get there at ten. And you'll you'll stay there with your people till three. Ten to three. And she'll leave at ten. Yeah. You know. I'm just trying to I'm trying to make this work. And then our li- <laughs> we have a liquor license, but we have a part time liquor license and it kicks in at nine. We turn it into a club. That's I got it. That'd be hard. Yeah. Yeah, I wanna have like a speak. I've been seeing a lot of like, oh, like speakeasies. speakeasies. Yeah, those like, are dope. Secret places. Like, Don't you talk have to about do it on this. here. You... Don't even listen to them. Don't it's even not going to be a speakeasy. You have to give a password. Dope. So you want a place where you sell food to be a speakeasy? No, I'm just throwing in ideas. I don't know what I want. I'm okay. not going to say, oh, this is what I'm head on. Because what if someone steals my idea? What if you steal my idea? I already did. No. Don't even listen to that. Tapas me. and tamales. <laughs> Tapas and tamales. That's going to be your restaurant. Have you ever been to a speakeasy? <laughs> yes. Dog, there was one. Nick, what day was it? Was it Halloween? Yeah, it was. So you know what Moonfest is? Yeah, I went. Congrats. So I swear to God, I saw this thing, and these people were whispering to the bodyguard, and then he was like, he was letting people in, and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to walk past him so I could try to hear what they're saying. So I like walk past and like, by the way, I'm, I'm dressed in a dress right now because I got my friend for Halloween. So I'm going <laughs> and I keep hearing them like say something. And I went up to the guy and I'm like, what's up? Like, I'm ready to get in. He goes, what's the password? I was like, recycling's bad. And he just looked at me and he said, get the fuck out of here. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I got the password right, but he doesn't want to get me in. So wait, where do you usually get the password to the speakeasy? Is like Twitter or something? No, they like you're yeah. in a, like a message. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like you. you you're text in a Discord, them. dog. Yeah. No, I feel it like for ex- if it's like Instagram, you send them a message by Instagram, and probably they give it to you. So how'd you get into the okay. restaurant business? Because huh? How'd you get into? Can we just fast forward like five years and like you created your speakeasy, and can we talk then? So how was opening your first restaurant, and what are some of the obstacles that you had to deal with? Um, people. People. Yeah. What was it about people? Um, and then what investors. Would you, what would you look for in like your hiring staff? Good energies. I'll base them off energies. So what if vibes. they? What if they have no like experience? A lot of people that don't have experience start in the industry. That's how they start. With no experience. Of, yeah. Okay. So just good vibes. Yeah. All right. So like, let's say like. But I would obviously a- want. I would if like if there if there's a person mm-hmm. that doesn't have experience and comes up to me and gives me a good ass interview and be like, hey, I don't know what I'm doing, but you know, I'm a good person. I'm social. This, I'm this a and quick that. learner. Yeah, I'm like, adaptive. Like I I learn by looking, words? by doing. Yeah, and, like, they a can, hands on. Yeah, that's I'll be like, I want you in my team. Now, would you do that if they were like applying to be like a pilot? W- applying to be a pilot. <laughs> so we're talking say, about so you're, you're over you're here hi- and I'm over here. You're hypocritical. Me? Yeah. Why? Because you're only no. hiring off vibes for a certain job. No, yeah. I didn't right. say that. The difference is she's not like American Airlines about to send 300 passengers up with someone they hired on uh-huh, vibes, dude. Like, what, just... what are you talking oh, about, dog? We in the air? We in the sky with the vibes, bro? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, the angels are in the clouds. You fell. For- <laughs> Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> that, felt, <laughs> that felt wrong saying I got like chills. It felt wrong listening to it. Oh, oh I got chills and everything. Uh, I tried. You laugh like you didn't get anything for Christmas. <laughs> oh, no, dude. Like, Have you... You're... Okay. Who loves? What's up, bro? You want to complete a sentence? <laughs> you got this, though. You speak two languages and you can't complete one. That's <laughs> like, what the why fuck are you so doing? Hard. Yeah, you got this. It's gotten to the point where I'm forgetting both. I actually forgot to speak Spanish when I moved to Connecticut and I moved back to Puerto Rico. Well, it's because you were young and then your like little like sponge like baby brain was like adapting shit. Mm-hmm. And I forgot how to write it. I forgot how to speak it, and I forgot how to read it. If you can only keep one language, what would you keep? I wouldn't do that. If you only could. 
Mm. Let's say I'm like, yo, either f- erase one language from your memory or eat a grenade. Unbelievable. <laughs> no, like, that is absolutely unbelievable. No, you gotta pick one. English. I'd stay with Spanish. You'd stick with Spanish? Yeah. Okay. People are liking it. <laughs> <laughs> that's dope. But that's just because Spanish is my, like, yeah, it's born your into home. it. Yeah. That's it. It's like what you're comfortable with. I can't let with. a go. I can't let, let that go. Yeah. It's like when you were, like, born and, like, you know, like, all you ate growing up was, like, ramen or shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just... Was that, was that all you Let's not ate? talk about it. But, like, it feels good. I it eat feels rice like... and beans and... Or, like, crabs. rice and egg. And plantains. You never no. had rice and egg? No, I don't eat... You, I don't eat rice and eggs. <laughs> like do, you put, do you put ketchup on your rice? If someone, like, looked Ew. at me and oh, they had rice... Listen, listen, People listen, do that listen. over there in Puerto Rico. No, no, no. They Little, like, with everything. hash browns... Get well, First of all, I'm about to finesse your breakfast. Get some well-done hash browns. They gotta be burnt. They gotta be, like, like this. They gotta look like this. Put a little ketchup, put a little hot sauce, and just dump it. No. No. I can't with hot sauce. No hot sauce. You don't like hot shit? No. I can't trust people who don't like hot sauce. You like hot sauce? You like hot sauce? Yes, but I don't want to get into this. <laughs> I trust 95% of the people here. You don't like hot sauce? No. Like, I can eat some Takis, but that's it. A Takis? <laughs> not even. Like, I can, if it, ha- if it has a little kick, it's fine. But okay. I'd just rather not. I wish so, I could. My... I dated this girl for five years. In the fifth year of us dating, she started liking Takis. And I'm like, I just can't trust her. So she would tell me, she'd call me, and she'd be like, oh, you at the gas station? Get me a bag of Takis. I made a video of me just crumbling them up and throwing them on the floor and leaving them there. And then I was like, there's your fucking Takis. But then I brought her one. But like, I would just crumble up and like make sure they were just fucking dust when I would give it to her. Takis are gross. I feel like that's a- that's, that's unbelievable, dude. That's like mentally abusive. No. That's like buy your own. That's talkies. so mean. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> You're telling me, bro, if you see someone, maybe that's why. And they're just walking and they're eating the blue fucking takis. Would you oh. trust them to dr- like drive you home? Why? Yeah. Absolutely not. I feel I like I've tr- seen you eat Takis. You've never seen me eat Takis. I think I've seen you eat one. You see me throw away Takis. I've seen you eat So the bag might have been in my hand for like a split second just like to destroy it. That's it. <laughs> Takis are gross, dog. I like them. I'm pretty sure they were like the green kind or something. Like those, I don't like, even think they have ones green or kind. Lime ones or whatever. They were like this lime The hot. blue looks disgusting. Yeah, that shit looks wild. That shit looks like it's like the secret ingredients, radiation. What spicy thing do you like? Me? Yeah. I just... Drink hot sauce. You ever have Thai food? Yeah. You know I've had Thai is? food, right? Why'd you look at him? We no, haven't you... had Thai food. So you I never had Thai food. <laughs> All right, so you're just food. a fucking liar on this podcast. <laughs> no. Oh, I have no idea what's happening in uh, Venezuela. Yeah, it's so sad what's been happening all these years. I'm but... sorry. I take a little while to process things. Yeah, I know. I can tell. I'm but... a little slow. Remember what I said earlier before the podcast? Yeah. That about like... I never had like a memorable conversation with you. Oh yeah. Don't Dylan. listen. Don't listen. Hey, D- D- it's Dylan changing. Said, it is insane. Dylan, Dylan said that he has never had a com. We've I've known Dylan for five months now. I thought you were gonna say five years. I was like, no, you haven't. Bro. <laughs> for five months, and he told me I've never had an interesting conversation with you, and I'm like, did it hurt? Yeah, a little bit. But then I know how you are, so I'm just like, I don't pay attention to you now. Are we having an interesting conversation right now? Huh? I'm learning so much about you. You like Takis? You don't like hot sauce? Or hot food? You never had Thai food before? I thought... No. Thai food? Max, bro. But the spice is a little different. Have you ever gone to Hot Pot? I went to Hot Pot. What's that? Wait, what is Hot... Wait, what? What the fuck just happened, dog? (laughs) From what? Did you just get a virus? Are you okay? Hot Pot is from where? From... I'm is trying to Asian? think. It's Asian. I think it's Asian, but I'm I for, I don't know what. From like, what is it one of those like, Japan. what's? Yeah. Chinese. It's Chinese. It's Chinese. Congrats. Is it like Chinese. dim sum almost? Is that what you're saying? Oh, you ever had dim sum? Dim sum's big in New York. When I first came to Florida, hold on, and I was like, <laughs> we, we gotta <laughs> figure out what hot pot is. We gotta figure no, out. No, okay, hot pot. Is. hot pot is hot pot is so cool. 
hot pot is basically like a heater in front of you, and it's a. It's bowl. like all you can eat, and they give you yeah. the stuff to make oh, it. Oh, it's like melting. Melting. Listen, melting. Listen, melting. listen, 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 listen. Okay. So there was one time I was in Orlando, and I was with someone, and they, we went to something like that. So it was an all-you-can-eat buffet, and then you would get it. But the thing is, it was yeah, only like that, right? it was only one person, and but what you took, and you had to cook, you had to eat it. So they're like, whatever you don't eat you get charged for individually. So it was like $20 for that. But if you didn't eat like, if you got like five things of steak or like chicken or whatever, and you cooked it and you didn't eat it, then you would have to like do it. So I didn't get that shit because I was like, that just sounds like a scam. So the person I was with got it and they were so full, dog. They couldn't eat anymore and they had like 25% of their plate. So I just put everything they had and I just started like shoving it in my pockets and stuff. And I'm like just going to like You're a fucking monster. Dude. No. I didn't want to get charged for <laughs> this. The crazy. hot pot that I went here was like thirty dollars and it's like all you can eat. Like how many no like all you can eat. I don't trust all you can eat foods. Like places. Why? It's too much. Like that's the whole point. How is that appealing? You eat until you can. I feel like it depends. Like I, I like a buffets. regular like a regular like buffet that's you know cheap or whatever like Sizzler's my that shit. I don't know if I try. What? Mm-hmm. Never been to Sizzler. What? What the oh fuck? Oh my gosh, I love. But like, there's this place apparently. It's like a Brazilian steakhouse where it's like just unlimited like whatever they get you. Oh, I haven't gardens? been there yet, but like, apparently that's like the best. And it's just you pay fifty bucks and you just get as much as you oh, want yeah, over and yeah, over. Yeah, they just yeah. keep cutting you off pieces. Yeah. How does that sound fun? What do you mean? I mean, you don't eat meat. Do you eat meat? I do. No, he eats chicken. It's chicken you eat chicken? Yeah. Period. Thanks. I can't stop. I can't. I can't be vegan. Because that Who's, means. Who told you to? No, I'm just saying, like, you've never, like, thought, She's... like, oh, let me try vegan. I can't. I tried that shit. I tried it for, like, a month. The only thing is I lose weight so fast. Hmm. It's like. That was one of the benefits for me. But, like, <laughs> when it came to... Uh, it's not for everyone. It's just, it's tough to, like, plan your, like, to plan your meals out to that extent. Like, unless you already do it, you know what you're doing, whatever else. If When you're getting started, it's it's a tough barrier on top mm-hmm. of that. Like, sometimes you just want to have buy everything. fucking Yeah, dog. So I didn't know that like you had to, like, steak. balance food and shit. So I just got, like, a week's worth of fucking blueberries. And all I was eating was blueberries no. every time I was no, hungry. This man Bro, tried my vegan piss for, was blue. This, this man tried vegan for three days, and he literally starved himself for three days. Like, he would eat, like, fucking what? Like... Uh, what was it? It was it was Pistachios, something ridiculous. Dog. Yeah, he was eating shit like that for three days straight. And he's like, man, I'm losing some weight. I'm not feeling that great. Whatever else. It's like, yeah, because you're fucking starving yourself. It was like, bad. like, we know some people that are like proper vegans, right? Yeah, like, they, they know what they're it. doing. They're healthy, whatever else. But like, they eat leaves. Whatever the yeah. fuck you did that My week. My nephew's a vegan nah. baby. A baby. A vegan baby. A what? A vegan baby? Like, he's a baby? Yep. He's eight months and he's completely vegan. No formula. No meat, no nothing. Is that like bad for them growing Is up? Is that like bre- no? what about like breast milk? Yeah, he's yeah, talking about that. Only f- breast milk. Only no, breast milk. Yeah, no formula. Um, I don't know. I haven't done my research, but my sister obviously has. She's completely vegan, and her husband too. Um, but I don't think so. I don't think it's bad. Like it's not bad for the. I probably that kid's never gonna have inflammation in his life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fair. The healthiest baby ever. Ever. Strong teeth, strong mm. eyes, strong mm. bones, a lot of carrots, a lot of milk. Yeah, strong skin. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. A lot of collagen. When he gets a little All older, he's not going to be drinking milk, but... Yeah. Strong almond milk, dude. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> strong oat milk. Listen, bro. Get some, get some you oat milk. in there, dude. Um, oat milk. You drink milk? No. You're the fucking ops, bro. That's why you're not in the podcast. <laughs> uh, if, if, if there's anything you take away ever from our podcast zoom in on my face nick when you edit this please 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 stop fucking drinking milk you pussy that's it why'd you get so defensive 
I don't think she did. She stared at me like I just shot someone. You're talking. <laughs> like, what do you mean, Bro, dude? Drinking milk you is she's never giving win. You she's can giving never you win a, with she's Dylan. giving you her attention while you say something. Do the face. Do the face for the no, thing. No, no, we'll no. Use it as a thumbnail. Oh. Please do the face oh, for the thing. No, oh. as a what? No. Time out. Yeah, come on. Time out. Time. No, stop. You can't say zoom in on my face. Literally, you took the vibes and stopped them right there in the tracks. What are you talking about? You're like zoom in on my face. Nick, this is the uh, world when of vibes, and we're all fucking crushing it right now. It was like a three second space. And uh -huh. then you were like, never drink milk. And that's why she was looking at you like I that. Because I know in that part, like, no one's going to see my face. Because it's zoomed in in yours. But the face that you gave me threw me off, bro. Debatable. I, I might leave uh, all our faces okay. in there. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, please, I'll, I'll have, like, bro. a little, like, slow into his face. So everyone's face is just like this as he's saying it. <laughs> oh, I was like, why do I feel like I ate corn today? You like elote? No. You... no. What? I tried it. I tried it. No, I don't like it. At least the plate. Honestly, tacos are carbon. Everyone's been there? Have you been to tacos? Yeah. It's overrated, there? dog. Super. It's overrated. so bad. Oh, my gosh. So. Their soft shells taste actually, like grape. I, I don't know how that's a thing. I, I Actually, I'm not going to say it. So They're mechanically do you know, modified. Do you know the parking lot where tacos are carbon is? Which one? There's yeah. like 10 of them. In now. Lake Worth. Lake Worth. So, <clears throat> literally in the same parking lot, there's another food truck. Food truck called... El Rey del Taco. A hundred times better than Tacos al Rey del Taco. It's about very you. Auth um, authentic. authentic. You got that. In, in the oh, fuck you. In the same parking lot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> in the you same parking lot? Yeah, they're like go. back to back. That's great. Bro, yeah. that parking lot's dangerous, bro. You can order food and get stabbed at the same time. <laughs> like, no. that shit's crazy. It's not no. that bad over there. The road, the all the potholes are like Puerto Rico. Yeah. In that one parking in lot. In that one parking lot mm -hmm. is like they had to make it a authentic. whole trip, That's a whole 20, yeah. a whole That's 30 authentic. minutes somewhere in Puerto Rico. Like literally, bro, like Tacos are Cabone is in a sinkhole. Because that's how bad <laughs> the fucking pothole is. It's just slowly. You ever had you ever had Anita's? I feel like T Mobile is the sketchiest like wireless provider. No. I think that goes to Boost. Boost? I'm T Mobile. Mm. I've always been T-Mobile, T-Mobile for life. I mean, don't get me wrong, T-Mobile's third. What are you going to have, Verizon? AT&T, dog. I mean, Verizon, no offense. You remember Sprint? Verizon, I mean, yeah, they were they were bought by T-Mobile, but yeah. like Verizon and AT&T are probably like right around the same. AT&T for cell service is probably better than Verizon. T-Mobile's a hard third, though. Yeah, I, and I'm, I'm talking shit because Verizon worked when we had the hurricanes. AT&T worked also. T-Mobile, no. T-Mobile, no? No. They took I had a vacation? No <laughs> it took yeah. an off day, That's bro. pretty tragic. Yeah. I couldn't call anyone. I couldn't text anyone. Could you use Kick? Or not Kick, uh, WhatsApp? No. Nah. I mean, if she had Wi-Fi. I cannot believe you just said that. What? Kick? Is that a thing? That was... Well, what? What's you, that was a thing here? Yeah. Kick, yeah. I thought that was only in Puerto Rico. No, bro. Oh, my there God. There was this one girl. This was, bro. What? This was so long ago. This, wait, I, fucking, I have to say something. I have to use the bathroom. All right, after the podcast. Just piss yourself. What? So, Can I bring the... You always want to start shit. I'm the You're most the peaceful person starter. in the world. No, he is not. I'm the most not. peaceful person in the world. Okay, delusional. I got community service written all over me. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. But like, not for like right a, now? not because I have to. Man of service, right there. You're, you're, you're I'm, the guy. Look at that. I'm so nice. Public servant number one, right there. Number one. That's it. And number two. You know what I always say. You know what I always say. If that makes you sleep at night. I've never heard you say that. Do you, baby boy? I've never heard you say that. Wait, what'd you say? I don't know. She uh, said something if, about if the baby. You, the if thinking baby. like that is what makes him sleep good at night. ¿Cuántos años tienes? 21. Then why do you have gray hair? Stress. What's so stressful? My life. It is? Yeah. No, because I kind of fuck with it. How old were you when you got them? Now. In this year. Really? Yeah. Because they're coming in hard. Mm -hmm. But, like, they're dope. I know. That's what I keep saying. I always say that I have so many gray hairs. Yeah. No, like, I'm not kidding. Like, I fuck no, with it. No, 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 no. For sure. Like, I have a whole bunch here. I have a lot. Nick, you see it? Yeah, yeah no. It I, looks like this part of your grandma. beard. I have... Yeah, I, I got white patches right here. 
it's sick. I'm a, I have, I'm a, I have a white, a white, wise soul. A what? Wise, a wise, wise soul. Soul. I'm sorry. It took you a while to say wise, so. It takes me a while <laughs> to like, say everything. No, but you're doing great. So wait, oh, hold, thank you. As a, as a side note, because I meant to ask this earlier. Mm-hmm. Do you translate in your head to Spanish or to English? Like when you're speaking. Like, do you have a, like a prominent language in your head? English. It is English. Mm-hmm. I think it's sometimes because when I talked to Gerson, I was like, when you're in Puerto Rico, I was like, does it take you a second to switch it? Because if you were in Puerto Rico, it would just be Spanish, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because there was one time um, there's a guy that works with us and he's from Cuba, but he moved to Brazil and then he moved to fucking France and then he lives here now. And I asked him something in Spanish and then I asked him something in Portuguese and literally like all of that came from like thinking in English and it was so weird because it felt like I used like different tunnels like in my brain wow doesn't that feel like what it feels like when you translate shit I feel like it's just automatically yeah you know when you put I don't even think about it I just say it you know when you put um like when you go to the bank and then like you put the money in and it shoots up and it's like Mm -hmm. and it goes to the bank person that's what it feels like like translating (laughs) shit in your brain it, it does. takes a little Honestly, wrap around yeah. real quick. It does, yeah, dog. A little bit. It's so I'm like, oh damn, dog. I just did that shit, but it happens so much faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's it's great. like in a second. Yo, how clean was my bathroom? Your bathroom has character. What does that mean? It's got character. But does it have a fucking like? Is there poop in the sink? Hmm? Is there like shit in the sink? I don't know. I'm not. I didn't go in there and like start looking at everything. Do you do that when you go? What? She didn't nah. go in there. And she was like, "I wonder what the real fucking deal is with him. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I judge this shit out of honestly, him." Honestly, I'm not surprised at all. If, if I put this sink, no. If there's something, wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. I gotta tell you guys something. This shit is so fucking funny. Hold up. Okay, so a random number texted me the other day. They texted me at 2:26, and they said, "Hey, Derek," and then they sent me a fucking picture no of way. like shit in the toilet. They said. You seriously left this in my toilet? You didn't even flush. I don't even see toilet paper. Nasty fuck. Do you even wipe? So I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy. So I texted him back. I was like, bro, that's not my poop. And they're like, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> Next time flush and don't leave this mess at work. Or I'm telling Jenny. I was like, tell Jenny, bro. That ain't me. So they're like, Derek, don't be t- uh, talking shit, you skinny ass bitch. I know it's you. I'm going to call you out when you see... Uh, I'm going to call you out when I see you in front of Jenny. I said, I ain't talking shit, bro. I'm taking shits. And he goes, nasty fuck. You don't even wipe your ass. You serious? There's no toilet paper there. And I was like, check the sink. So like, at this point, bro, 20, 20 minutes fast and this person's pissed. He goes, nasty as fuck. I was like, I'm sorry, bro. I'm just going through a lot. And then he was like, I knew it was you. You did it on purpose. Or you forgot to wipe and flush. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was like, bro, it really wasn't me. And he goes, shut the fuck up, nasty ass fuck. I'm telling Jenny, go home and wipe your ass. I was like, bro, my girl kicked me out. Can I stay with you? And they were like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? You don't even flush your ass. You dirty, um, he goes, nasty has diarrhea. No, you can't stay with me. I was like, bro, just two weeks. And I put dot, 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 let me get my shit together. And he's like, no, <laughs> fuck off. And then he stopped replying. Do you haven't texted that man like, hey, don't kill Derek. I'm done. No, 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 no. I kind of want to see what's ha- what happens. That you won't know. Well, you no. What see? I think what happened is they put... So, um, Long Island is 516 for the area code or 631, depending on where you're from. And then here is 561. So, I think they just messed up when they put the area oh code my in. God. So, I'm going to fucking like put my number in, but put 516. And I'm like, yo, Derek, this guy's talking shit about you. <laughs> and then just see what happens, dog. That's so random. To all people. Don't worry, I got your back, Derek. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, fuck <laughs> so this guy. Stupid. <laughs> I'm like, go up to Jenny and be like, yo, he's taking shits in here. Jeez, yo, dude. I'm invested. That's wild. He literally was like, you don't, sh- you don't. What did he say? You don't shit your ass. Is that what you were saying? He goes, you don't shit or wipe your ass. You know, oh, okay, okay, okay. I missed. That. I was like, he was like belligerently angry. Bro, he couldn't even make sense. Pissed. Oh my god. You think it was a guy or a girl that said that? A guy. Yeah, I, I it, think felt, a guy. it had guy vibes. It had, yeah. it, it's very aggressive. Definitely, yeah, did. it was pretty aggressive. Nasty and I feel like they're they're mechanics. Yeah, like him and Derek are gonna fight on sight. Oh, what if he was a janitor? Days. A janitor? Mm-hmm. Then he would be killing aliens in space. That's what the new Dead Space game is about. That was so quick. Wow. What? Like no, because we were just talking about it. Change of topic. Yeah, I know. No, we're staying on topic. 
No, are we? We're not. <laughs> are we? No, we are staying we are on not. topic. What's the topic that we're supposed to stay on? How many <sighs> tattoos you got? Do you have a tattoo right there? I have oh, eleven tattoos. I, like I want you to get mom right here. I am. You would? No. Come on. Mom? Already on the list yeah. of things to get. No. No, I'm not getting that. Would you get I a neck tat? No. Do you think guys with neck tats? Like, do you like neck tats on guys? Not really. Not really. What about face tats? Mm. If you can, well, looks what like about someone's in the minority now? What about koi fish tattoos? Not on your face. A nice koi fish tattoo. What's your tattoo? <laughs> Is it koi fish? What about no, it's half fish? fish, half tree? Yeah, I dig that. I can dig that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What What do you think that represents? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Everything from the sea honest. comes from the land, or come or turns into the land. I know it's, it's a it's something you. Uh no, it was a representation of the potholes in Puerto Rico. <laughs> and how they're filling oh, them up. Shit, so, hey. Oh my gosh, I feel really bad. What does it mean? It's something about it's a reference. It's a quote. It's about a quote that your dad used to say. Oh, damn! I, I'm the worst girlfriend ever. No, you're on the spot. Yeah. And he's literally eating it up right now. I could see it in your eyes. I, I'm not eating anything. <laughs> I'm starving. I'm starving too, all right? What's the, what's your point? You want pasta? Ooh. Is that what you're saying? Do we have <laughs> any Jesus garlic bread? Christ. We don't got shit. Uh, what does it mean? Nick's going to take a wild guess. Yeah, real wild guess. I, I think it's from a quote by uh, by like Einstein or something. It's, uh... everyone is a genius. But if you judge a fish on its ability to climb a tree... It will live in the it will live in its whole life believing it's stupid. Yeah, it's a fantastic to, quote. That was beautiful. I kind of want to cry. It's true. That it is. It's a great quote. What do you think your strongest attribute is? What do you think your strongest attribute is? Because yours obviously isn't answering questions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm I, offended. I feel like with yeah. my with with the couple things I'm like really into, I I like learn as much as possible. Like I fixate on it. That's, yeah. that's what, what does that like mean actually base. what that, that's why i stayed because i was a little embarrassed to say like to ask you what it meant because i don't know what it means what attribute like, attribute? attribute like what you like your like skill set. like what's your like best characteristic like like name a characteristic about yourself that like that's that's on top you know everyone's I'm bad very at realistic. something okay okay so like like hyper logical realistic type thing hyper extendo realistic? Uh, i don't know about that like you're like Everything in front of you is just what it is. Like, you see it for what it is, that's it? Is that what you mean? No, I mean it with, like, situations. Like, shit happens. But, like, there's a lot of mental... Like, it's realistic, but, like, there's a lot of mental health. Like, even though a situ... So you're really good at, like, getting dealt something, something happens, you're in the middle of something, whatever else, and you're just good at dealing with what it is regardless. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, that's my, even though that I go through it and I have my struggles or I'm, like, depressed, I'm just, like, that's what I say at the end of the day. I am like, I still have my moments. Yeah. That. So, so that's, so you're, like, you're perseverant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, that's. that's that doesn't answer. sound like an attribute, dog. That shit was so sad. That's, that's a very big trait. That's, a, right. that's, a, that's a good trait to have. That's your, so you can get through anything. You're like a fucking tank. Yeah, it's a process. You're a tank in a fishbowl. Yeah, yeah, no. If you judge a tank on its ability to swim, the tank's going to think it doesn't work. Einstein. <laughs> Psychotic. Uh, that's a, <laughs> no, that's a quote. What's your best attribute, Nick? Didn't we just say this? Yeah, you uh-huh. ego fix, eh? No, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't think that's a word. I don't think that's If I anything. say it enough times in this, I think people will start believing it's no, a word. Every time you say it, I will shoot you down and say <laughs> that is not a word. Like, I will dispel it immediately. <laughs> like, that is not a word. Ego fixate? What the fuck does that even... You're like, fixating on your ego, bro. Just compound the words together. Ego fix... Yeah, it doesn't make it a word. Did they teach you that in Puerto Rico? When you were learning What was English? the other thing you said today? What? Hyper what? Hyper extendo. No, no, no. Huh. It was hyper. It was hyper something else. Hyper, oh, hypersclerosis. Hypersclerosis, bro. You never had yeah. that shit. Could mean something. It's it's pain because you in put the lower the root, back. You put the root of one thing on top of a whole other thing. So yeah, I guess it can mean something. But if you go to like WebMD, is that a thing? Absolutely not. Hypersclerosis. 
It's, it's not a thing. That? It's it's sclerosis. like lower back pain. <clears throat> um, no. All right. He combined hyper, which literally means like like all the time, constant, whatever else, getting worse. What a, it, it just means like moving forward drastically, and then he combined it with the word sclerosis, which means like internal scarring. For like, it's like a medical term. Like like your liver has sclerosis. That's so he combined hypersclerosis. Can you say that in a sentence? Yeah, my back hurts from all this hypersclerosis. Really? Yeah. If that's happening, your spine is rotting out of your fucking back because that doesn't happen. <laughs> Nick, now, Nick is Nick your, is your ego liver. fixating on my hypercolosis. Holy shit, dude! This is wild. <laughs> this is so wild. Wow, hypersclerosis. Yo, you fuck with my hair? I washed it yesterday. Fuck. Don't pay him any money. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Like, <laughs> we well, how about long? Our- how long? Like, in a week or in a month, how much do you wash your hair? Like, how many times? Honestly. I actually do not wash it too often. Because, like, my hair... Once a week? Not even. Because my hair dries out. So, like, for me, like, I'll rinse it. But, like, I won't wash it. You're so fucking dumb. No, because I honestly... I Once a week. Okay. Well, that's good. If you have like naturally healthy hair, then you can wash it once yeah, a week. Yeah, my hair Bro, is. Yeah. How healthy mine is. My hair. Feel is the bounce. My hair is a hundred percent virgin. What does that mean? It's no. I don't even know what that no, means. It's no like no products in it, no like chemicals, no dye, nothing. You straightened it. You no, know, she's saying she doesn't add anything to her hair. Yeah, but uh-huh. she straightened it. That doesn't. Oh, what? But, that, You're my... no, no, no. That shit just got fucked because you straightened it, bro. <laughs> No, yes. my hair. Straightening your no, hair. Oh no, no. If you God. if you straighten your hair too much, like there's, okay, I've been told that you can straighten your hair. If I straighten my hair once a month, I'm good. My curls are still intact. That's still like Everything non-virgin. That's literally like telling me like non-virgin? that vegan baby your that you were talking not, about. No, your hair's not. There's non-virgin. fucking blonde. Did I say uh-huh. it? that vegan baby you were saying? Guess uh-huh. what? In drinking the titty milk, right? Uh-huh. It's not a vegan baby. Yes, it That's is. That's still milk that be- it comes out of a mammal. So, That's. So you. <laughs> time out. And you're time, time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. <laughs> that. Wait. 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 Is wait, wait. a very gray area. The thing right there. Damn, but. if it was so virgin, it wouldn't be a gray area. There'd be no gray areas. Yeah, It'd but the second, clear areas the, second, everywhere. the second the baby is two, it's not going to be like drinking breast milk anymore. So it's still going to be a vegan baby. At two. Well, right now it's technically, it, bro, you're, you're. Well, the milk is coming out of a person that is eating no animal products. Cool, but people are mammals, correct? And what's it just doesn't work that way. I think it does. It does not work you know. that humans way. Humans categorize as animals, correct? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Humans hold on, hold categorize as animals, correct? Stop, stop, stop. stop. First of all, wait, 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 uh, wait. short commercial break from our sponsors. <clears throat> Off the shit, shorts, and teal. Say something good about it. It's all right. No. <laughs> Fanny packs are coming soon. Fanny packs are wow, coming there soon. You How go. excited are you? I am very excited. They're sending them I out tomorrow. I love fanny packs. <clears throat> They're my shit. You should okay. too. Different colors? Yeah. What colors so, are they coming in? Black. So, moving away oh. from this commercial break. <laughs> okay. You are technically right. We'll give it to you correct. Damn, bro. You're technically correct. Damn, bro. Use your own. Yeah, hey, use your own mic. All right, but you are technically correct. I know. In the long run, you're wrong. <laughs> hey, well, like, I run. Bro, we're more right of a now. sprint. <laughs> in the long run, dog. Like, you've won a debate that will naturally. He won? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I mean, won the split decision. He's So, like, he's you, he's being clever right here. You want to know why? Because technically, humans are part of the animal kingdom. Therefore, that baby is technically not vegan. Although. Mostly. It's only getting, like, the hormones and nutrients from the breast milk right now. But, like, that's a gray area. Because, like, if the baby doesn't get that and he's on, like, some vegan solution, he'll probably be an ML nourished. But, like, you're right for now. All I'm saying, bro, close is only good when stabbing arteries. You're right for now. What? What What did you just say? What did you just say? Close. (laughs) Being close is only good for stabbing arteries. Well, you are close. So, like, 
you're stabbing arteries? <laughs> like, is that what you're saying? You're like, close. number one, if you're close and you're stabbing an artery for whatever reason, chances are you fucked up. The... Like, you have to be on point. <laughs> the ability that you And your you hair is have... not virgin, just letting you know. Yes, it is. No, it's the not. The ability... Trendy. No, I'm on her side on that one. I think... No. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I know she's she's adding heat to her hair. Unnatural heat to your hair. Bro. It's the not fucking the same sun. thing. Like... Like, what do you mean, dude? Uh, she's hair not hair straightener. She's not adding is solar chemicals. powered from the There's sun. There's no chemicals. What's she supposed There's to no do? There's no dye in my hair. This is my natural color. Okay, this is my, so ho like hold everything. on, hold on. What about a comb? Would that suit your definition of virgin no. hair? No, no, you can use a comb. You can use a comb. Yeah. So you can still manipulate your hair to some extent. She's manipulating the conversation. <laughs> yeah. I just controlled Holy it. Shit. What were you saying? I naturally what? He has the ability. You guys have the ability so quick to change the topics and like. No, we're like, staying on track. Damn, I didn't even notice that we got here. I forgot about what we were talking half an hour ago. He has that effect. Nick has that effect. I try my best to keep this man on track, but sometimes it's impossible. Bro. Thanks. I don't know how you're doing it. I could never. Dylan. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> uh, hold up. Yeah, He's like... looking. Virgin hair refers to hair that is undamaged. You're wrong. When you heat your hair, it's damaged. You're damaging it to heat it up. Damn. Non vegan babies. Hold on. Unvirgin hair. Thank you. We, we are. We're settling this because you read. Should I put my blinker on? Because like all a... I am is right. You read like mm -hmm. a partial Google search or something. Impossible. You Nick, why in your, that. why in your tabs I just saw an obese Spider-Man? It's whatever. The, all these tabs are from our last podcast, so I have no idea. What is raw virgin hair? Completely okay. intact. Virgin hair refers to hair that is undamaged when and you, processed ah! completely intact. When you heat your Sorry. hair, you damage not all, it. Not all healthy hair can be classed as virgin hair, however. To qualify, hair must meet specific standards, including no previous bleach, color dye, or chemical processing. But when you heat your hair, but the, you're damaging it's not a, it. It's not a chemical. Mm -hmm. When you still... Type to heat. qualify virgin no, no. hair, I have to. I qualify. I don't have no bleach, no color, no dye, and no chemical processing but you in my hair. straightened it. Okay, hold on. I may have <clears throat> damaged hair, so but I have a hundred percent. But what does it say? What does it say? Hair. Virgin hair refers to hair that is undamaged. No, I mean, ha! Based undamaged based on that is no bleach, color, no, dye, or chemical no, processing. No, no, it's undamaged. You want to be right, but you're not. Based, it's uh, no, okay. no, no, no. You want to be right, but you're no, no, no. Wrong. Stop, 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 stop. All right, she's technically right. She's based, technically right. Based on this, she's right. No, I no. win. Oh, so you you're some half ass Google shit right now. No, no, no. No, go more read, in depth. You read one sentence and left uh -huh, this part out. I'm right. Ask if you straighten your hair. Is you, it still virgin? I know exactly what you read. You read the first sentence that we're reading. No, no. Type in straightened. Uh, I went to a fucking L'Oreal's website to see what virgin hair is real quick. Is it dot org? Because I don't trust it. Uh, this is probably the only thing they tell the truth about. It's probably right. <clears throat> so let's see. Um what is considered virgin hair when it comes to extensions definition of virgin hair is it above hair that has not been color treated or chemically processed that said most extensions waves don't fall under this category so it looks like mild manipulation that doesn't include chemicals or anything like that is virgin hair mild man uh, manipulation is not straightening meaning like hair straightening like you can do that and still have virgin hair because you don't add anything to the hair uh -huh. you're adding heat Bro, you're not have adding. You ever, you're not adding you, dye. Have, have you used a, a blow dry? What? Have you used one? A blow no, dryer? No, I towel dry because my hair is a hundred percent virgin. No, it's not. No, 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 it's not. No, no, no. Why is you? It? Do what not the, you. You literally for my said natural you highlights. I, there's a Nick, there's a clip. <laughs> there's a clip. You, you blow dry number one. No, I don't. I've seen you. You have one. I haven't used it. You you don't have virgin hair. Why? You literally said it. You're contradicting yourself right now. I am to make a point. You have three different colors of blonde in your hair, dude. What are you talking about? That's natural? It's, <laughs> it's from being outside. It's from being outside? It's not like I'm using the Pompeii. Sun ripped the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the sun ripped the, the color out of your hair? My Only fault. in some spots? Somewhere. You're wrong. 
I got a side. Hey, we're both That's wrong. That's all. Right. No. I got a no, side. No, no, no. I'm wrong on this. You're wrong on the other thing. What other thing? The vegan baby. No, I'm not. <laughs> you are. There's no winning any of this. There, this, this. It's okay. There's no winning in the vegan baby, but there's winning in the hair. Yeah. And that's me. That's fine. I'm the winner. Listen, listen. You I have no L. problem with being wrong, but it's not okay to be. It's okay to be wrong, but it's not okay to be wrong and act like how you're acting. You not having a problem with being wrong is debatable. Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> I'm wrong. I'm wrong on this. I cannot believe. I'm wrong. And no. look at. Man it up. <laughs> Yo, you got to give and take, I suppose, right? Huh? <laughs> you got to give and I... take. And I'm just a giver. Yeah, giver of all your shit, it dude. It doesn't this matter crazy. what anyone says. You're just showing everything. What am I showing? I'm showing how wrong you can be. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. No. I win. Wild. When's the last time you chewed gum? Maybe like a week ago. I'm telling you what on this. No. Gonna, I have to go. I'm going. You're going to hunt her all over the Donna's down and tell them. He has oh, to yeah. go to Puerto Rico to do that. Bro, there's probably like. She many... chews gum. I have proof. <laughs> Wild. Just staring at her. Unvirgin hair. It's all right. very virgin. And very Are you gray. saying that because you shaved it and you started all over? Mm -hmm. How cool does it feel shaving your head? Very cool. Yeah. Under I... the water specifically. Mm -hmm. And it dries so fast. Yeah. Me and my friends, we all shaved our heads. Like, because we, like, they did it because they have lice, and I did it because, like, I was like, damn. But I look good. You look bad. Mm, you didn't see me with shaved head. You didn't see me either? No, you showed me pictures. No. Yeah. yeah. I look good. All right, well, this has been fantastic. Thank I you for coming this. on. Thank you so much. Hey, you finally lived your dream. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I'm going to be famous. Mm. <clears throat> we have 70 views on our last one. We might get 80 on this one. We'll get do a the, short do up. Do the face. Do the face. We'll get a short up. No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beta boys out. <laughs> we were never in.